Computer vision technology is pretty awesome. We currently use computer vision for autonomous vehicles, AKA self-driving cars, augmented and virtual reality, smart surveillance cameras, robotics, and more. Now, the best part of these types of applications, they are perfect for Python developers. So in this video, we're gonna be building our own computer vision product called Weather Wizard. Now, the idea of Weather Wizard is pretty simple. We'll be recording ourselves, and if you hold up one finger, it'll start raining wherever your finger is, two fingers, it'll start snowing wherever your fingers is, and three fingers will make a lightning bolt shoot from the top of the screen down to your finger and we'll light up the screen and do some really awesome stuff. So I'm really excited about this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Eric Roby, a software engineer with over a decade of experience, and I've helped thousands of developers learn and grow within their craft. All right, so now let's Let's dive into some code and build Weather Wizard. All right, so what we're gonna be building here is a really cool project called the Weather Wizard using computer vision. So essentially, I'm gonna hold up one finger, it's gonna start raining, so it's gonna see my one finger up, it's gonna start raining, two fingers, I'm gonna move it around, it's gonna start snowing, and then three fingers is this big lightning bolt and flashing the screen, some really cool stuff is going to happen if you raise up three fingers. And I've already started the beginning of the project just so you don't have to see me do all the creation of it, but we're gonna have the, re the requirements.txt file, which is OpenCV, Python, MediaPipe, PyAuto GUI, and NumPy. Essentially what it's doing here is OpenCV is allowing us to do the screen recording. MediaPipe is by Google. Um, it's kind of like machine learning. It's what's going to be able to register our hand and register what's on the screen. And then NumPy for like gravity of items falling from the sky. So to start, we just have a main.py file, which is calling our uh, core weatherwizard.py. It's gonna be a new object of weather wizard, and then we're gonna run that. And inside here, we have our weather wizard, which is just a empty class. Um, a particle system, which is the height and width of the items, so like the rain, the snow, and the lightning. And then we have um, our gesture detector. And our gesture detector, that is also hard to say. Say that 10 times fast. Our gesture detector is by um, MediaPipe. And again, it's the holding up a finger. So index tip is pointing up. Index pip means it's stuck down. It's going to be seeing your fingers. So it's just saying if one finger's up, return rain, snow, lightning, just words based on the fingers, and then we'll do something based on the string that is returned. But the very first thing we need to do is just um, set up our project with all the dependencies. So what we're going to be using this time is something called setup.py. And setup.py is a way for us to just add a new entry point for our Python projects. So let's go ahead and just say um, pip install dash e, which means for like environment and then period. This will set up everything we need um, for our project. And it's also going to set up something inside our um, source code called weather wizard egg. And here we can just see um, like new starting points for our project. Nothing crazy is going on, but that's what that weather wizard egg info is. It's just allowing us to be able to start our project um, from different areas. Well, when I say start project, I'm talking about modules. It's like it's allowing us to be able to identify modules. So when we run our application, it'll know where the module is. Okay, so we already have our gesture detector um, running. So really what we're gonna be focusing on is just the particle system and the weather wizard itself. So let's start with just a particle system and just to make it really easy. And what we wanna add here inside um, our application is just a new um, Python function called create particle, where we're gonna pass in the self, which is the particle itself, effect type, and our uh, start X. Now our start X just means like, when we're creating a particle, where do we want the particle to start? And we want it to start at the top of the screen and then kind of drop down bottom of the screen. And that's for all particles. So rain, snow, and um, lightning. So if it's rain, we want it to drop from the top and we want it to have a speed. It's gonna be a random integer between 25 and 30. And we want it starting at the top all the way down. Same thing with the snow, but it's gonna be a little bit slower than the rain. And we're also saying it's going to be drifting a little bit. So it's going to be a little bit more at an angle when dropping. And then lightning is going to be having branches shoot out and it's going to go to your finger and it's going to go all the way to the ground. The screen's going to flash. Pretty cool stuff. Um, and then we're just doing this right here at the end, which is what we're returning back to the screen. So we're generating the lightning path, generating the snow, generating the rain. And um, that's pretty much all we're doing here. And we're using NumPy. Um, for the gravity, for when it's dropping and all that kind of stuff. So nothing crazy going on here, 
but we're going to add in all the logic for our particles and our gestures to make us a weather wizard. So in here, we're not going to just have our um, initialization constructor just doing nothing. We want it to do something. And what we want it to do here is we're going to be using MP hands. And essentially what we're doing is we're initializing media, media pipe, which is by Google. And we are going to instantiate how many hands and what kind of recognition it's going to do on the video feed itself. So we're going to essentially say this is not going to be a static image. It's going to be like real life video. And then we can say max number of hands. And we essentially want it to be one hand. Like we don't want like lightning bolts shooting everywhere. And like we're doing this and snowing and lightning at the same time. We're just going to do one hand just to make sure that we're good. And if we're only doing one hand, then we can say the detection and the tracking is going to have high amounts of confidence because we're not trying to trick the video at all. And then we're going to allow us to instantiate and open the camera. And if the camera fails to open, we'll throw um, an error. Now, if you're using a Mac, you might need to turn on certain kind of permissions. I know I had to. If you're using Windows, I think it's a little bit more relaxed, but you might need to do some kind um, of permission configuration. But overall, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. All right, so the next thing we need to do is just instantiate some components. Now, I know we're not using the success right here, but it is um, needed as a response. So make sure that you do have that because we want the image to come back, but this returns two things. So we need to make sure that we uh, do that. Then we have our self height, our particle system, and our gesture detector based on our gesture detector and our particle that we just created. And then we want to instantiate the state and then we want to define colors. So we're just saying rain is going to be, um, I don't know, I forget what these colors are, blue, light blue, uh, white and yellow, maybe that sounds right to me. <laughs> I don't know if there's, I think we might've added a little bit of shade. Um, but overall it's going to be like light blue, um, white and yellow. All right. So the next function we are going to be adding here is the run function. And this is the main loop for the wizard wizard application. So while true, we're just going to keep recording the screen and we're going to keep just doing something based on that. So it's a loop. So if you're like familiar with like video games or streaming, there's a loop that just keeps the application running until um, it's canceled. We want to, when we're displaying ourselves, we're going to flip the image. So it's going to be like a mirror. And then we're going to convert the BGR image to RGB for um, color optimization, process the image and get the hand landmarks. Now the hand landmarks is by media pipeline. And that's the one, two and three, just being able to visualize your hand. Um, we're going to draw hands with the detect gestures. So it's going to identify your hands and it's going to send the results of the multi hand landmarks to our draw landmarkers. We need to detect the gesture and update the current effect. And then we're going to create the new particles at the finger location. So that's where when we're moving it, we need to start start at the top of the screen, but we want the width to be above our finger. So if we're moving it like this, the rain and the snow is going to be following. If we have it over here, lightning's going to shoot. It's going to be following you around. And then um, we're just going to update, create the images and then break the loop when we want to stop the application. And then one of the last things we need to do is just update the particles. So essentially um, what we're doing here is as the rain drops or the snow drops or the lightning drops, once it gets off the screen of what's being recorded, we want to delete the particle. We need to do some like resource and memory uh, management. So update and draw all particles um, for each particle. We're just going to be doing some oops. We're going to be doing some NumPy stuff to make it drop. Um, if it's snow, we want to add the X and Y uh, speed and location and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we're doing the same thing for the lightning. We're going to draw the main bolt, which is a CV2 line overlay, start X, start Y. We're drawing this lightning bolt down. And it takes in a couple different um, points, which is our overlay, start X, Y, end X, end Y. So where it starts, X and Y axis, where it ends, X and Y axis. Um, and the color, we're going to add... Uh, the branches, we're going to add a flash to the screen. So this is the, the lightning is fresh, makes it feel like you're actually in the lightning itself. And then we're going to blend the weather effects with the original image. So the flashing of the color with the lightning, we then need to blend that into the image itself, almost like a like an overlay, right? And oh, it's exactly what it says. So overlay with um, the effect of the overlay. It's a weight that's added to the vision itself. All right, so let's go ahead and just see what this application will look like if we run it. So because we ran our setup to start, if we do Python dash M weather wizard main and we run the application, it should start up our camera. 
Um, let's see. Boom. There's, oh, I ruined it. All right. So we got the, um, the rain. We got the snow. Okay. The, the dog's real. The dog is real. Say hi. That's Milo. So we're doing the rain. And then three fingers is lightning. And it's shooting down. There it is. Lightning. Wow. <sighs> And I think it's because it's it's kind of like using all the resources right now for all, everything else. So lightning, there it is. <laughs> there it is. The screen overlay and the big lightning bolt. Try over here. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is cool. So like if we don't think AI is like the future, like computer vision is definitely going to be um, in the future. This is some pretty cool stuff, guys. This is awesome. Now, a way to make this application even better is... You can add whatever you want. I mean, think of the possibilities um, that you can add to a vision software for like, like for computer vision. The possibilities are endless. This this stuff is awesome. And I am by no means a computer vision expert. Um, I absolutely used AI for some of this. So um, we can make the screen bigger. This is tough. This is tough. So awesome stuff. Well, I hope you're able to learn something in this video and uh, go out there and, do, and if you have any ideas of uh, computer vision, AI products that you want me to, to build, leave them in the comments below because this year I want to build some cool stuff. I want to build some cool stuff. I'm looking forward to um, items that you might want uh, me to build in the future. So I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> this is awesome. See ya.